Hamlet said the purpose of playing from the first till today was and is to hold up as twere a mirror to nature, to show the age his form and pressure. Excuse the male pronoun, it's what he used. That's what we do here in the theater. We try to hold a mirror up to nature. It's what Shakespeare was doing, it's what we're doing. When we hold the mirror up to nature, often what we reveal are disturbing, upsetting, provoking things. Thank God, that's our job. Anybody who watches this play tonight, and I'm sorry there's gonna be a couple of spoiler alerts here, <laughs> but we'll know that neither Shakespeare nor the public theater could possibly advocate violence as a solution to political problems, and certainly not assassination. <laughs> this play, on the contrary, warns about what happens when you try to preserve democracy by non-democratic means. And again, spoiler alert, it doesn't end up too good. But at the same time, one of the dangers that is unleashed by that is the danger of a large crowd of people manipulated by their emotions, taken over by leaders who urge them to do things that not only are against their interest, but destroy the very institutions that are there to serve and protect them. This warning is a warning that's in this show, and we're really happy to be playing that story for you tonight. What I also want to say, and in this I speak, I am proud to say, for the public theater past, present, and I hope future, for the staff of the public theater, for the crews at the public theater, for the board of directors of the public theater, and for Patrick Willingham and myself, when I say, that we are here to uphold the public's mission. And the public's mission is to say that the culture belongs to everybody, needs to belong to everybody, to say that art has something to say about the great civic issues of our time, and to say that like drama, democracy depends on the conflict of different points of view. Nobody owns the truth. We all own the culture. Welcome to the public. Welcome to Julius Caesar. Thank you. And uh, talk amongst yourselves, because the show isn't going to start for two or three minutes. So, you know, make small talk and welcome. Glad to have you here.